Rad Raiders! It's me, Mackie, back at you with some big sister advice, but this time I'm pairing up with Caitlin and Molly, and we're gonna help you get all ready to register for classes. So if you're a new student and you're getting ready for orientation and you don't know what classes to take or how to get everything fixed, figured out and you're stressed about it, watch this video! Or maybe you haven't registered for classes on your own, or maybe you just need some tips and tricks about how to register for classes, what we do to get prepared, um, and then some advice that we have from going through it all and getting some of those gin courses out of the way, then keep on watching this video. Let's get this started. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna keep my part pretty short and simple, or at least I'll try. I'm not the best at that. Um, but I just wanted to give y'all some advice for those general courses. You know, like there's classes that you just have to take to graduate. What classes should you take? Why? What do I recommend? Because as y'all know, I'm a double major, triple minor, so I've taken a lot of classes, so I have a pretty good idea of what tech offers, and so I'm just gonna give y'all some hints and tricks. So for your sciences, if you want a really easy science, if you're not a science major, I definitely recommend horticulture. It's probably one of the easier sciences. It's pretty fun, and like, it's the most applicable, at least I think like one of the most applicable, because like, there's just some things like you just don't like ugh, chemistry for me mm, probably not gonna use it that much but like how to keep plants alive and like all that kind of stuff it's like actually been really really useful I'm working on keeping a few plants alive so for the sciences if you need an easy one take horticulture it's also just a lot of memorizing which if that comes easily to you then you'll be set so at tech you have to have a multicultural um, credit and a lot of people are like I don't really know what to take and there's a ton of different options what I'll say is any women and gender studies course you will not go wrong um, women and gender studies is like it's one of my minors so I'm a I'm a bit obsessed but I think it's just an amazing course and there's so many different ones you can take like whether that's intersectionality which is talking about you know like racism sexism homophobia like it talks about like everything it's a really interesting class there's lgbtq history there's just like women and gender studies intro course which talks about feminism stuff like that um women's history there's uh, women in literature women in history like there's so many different courses they all count for this multicultural credit um and i just think they're all super interesting they really get you to think it's also a really cool way to meet a lot of people because most of the classes are discussion based so i've had a great time in all of my wds courses so i just like highly recommend it to literally everybody so for that multicultural credit take a women and gender studies course I promise you won't be disappointed um, you also have to take a social and behavioral sciences and I think everybody should take general psychology okay it's not the hardest class it's mostly memorizing and just like thinking you know writing some papers about experiences in your own life I'm also a psychology minor so again maybe I'm a little biased but I just think everyone should take that intro course to psychology it just helps you understand your brain a lot better um, and also just like really helps people develop empathy for other people so take that general psychology course take an intro to women and gender studies course or literally any of the WGS courses for that multicultural credit and then if you need an easy science I definitely recommend horticulture um, you know the other ones are pretty much like you have to take like pretty specific classes there's also a creative arts course and I took introduction to cinema which means you just get to like go you go once a week mine was on a Monday and for three hours you just like watch a movie and then you write a paper about a certain like cinematic attribute of the movie or something like that um, which the class was interesting. I liked just getting to like watch a movie for free every Monday night. Like that was kind of cool. Um, however, there's a huge group project, and so and it's worth a lot of your grade. So if you're not a group project person, don't take that class. Find another way to get that uh, creative arts credit. But if you are a huge group person and you think you can make it work, then it's a pretty pretty cool class. So that's just kind of up to you. But those are going to be my main recommendations on getting those general courses covered. But whew, I told you I was going to keep this short and I didn't keep it that short. So I'm going to throw it over to Caitlin and she's going to get more into the nitty gritty details of actually registering for classes and some tips and tricks that she's learned along the way. So I'm going to throw it on over to Caitlin. Bye y'all. Wreck them. Now that you've learned a little bit more about what classes that you should take or maybe just some class recommendations that Texas Tech has to offer, let's talk a little bit more about the scheduling side of classes. So 
Let's be honest, registering for classes might be a little bit stressful, but it doesn't have to be. And a super helpful tool that can make your registering for classes stress-free is Schedule Builder. You can search it up by typing in Texas Tech Schedule Builder, and then you can log in. And from there, you can select what semester that you'd like to build a schedule for. And after that, you can type in all the classes that you would like to take for that following semester. And then boom, it pops up tons of different schedule options that you can play around with and kind of just pick what schedule works best for you. So Schedule Builder, it basically shows what time your class will be, what day it's at, who's teaching the class and where the class is, how many seats there are in the class, all of that helpful information that you'll need when it comes to registering for classes. So personally for me, as an example, I'm like such a schedule planning type person. I don't know what the word for it, for it is, but so Schedule Builder is like my best friend when it's time to register for classes. I could spend hours on there, embarrassingly I say that, because I just want like the perfect schedule. I don't know if the perfect schedule exists, but I love to play around to get ideally the perfect schedule for me. So like I don't want classes on Fridays. So I've played around a lot and for the most part I've never had a class on a Friday since I've been here at Tech and also I don't want 8 a.m. I'm not a morning person so I try to schedule around it to where like my earliest class is at 11 but that's the super helpful thing about Schedule Builder is like you can see how many seats left are in the class so as you're approaching your registration date you can make sure that there's still seats in the class or if there's waitlist spots open and basically schedule builder is my best friend and maybe it's yours too so that you can get that perfect schedule for college so it's always something to think about before you register for classes that you kind of just plan things out so you know when your class is or ideally when you want your class to be and who you want teaching it and where the location is so you can just Plan it all out so when it's your registration day and it's time to log in, you log in and you input all of the classes you want to take and then boom, you're done and you're registered for classes and it's super easy. So make sure you utilize Schedule Builder. Highly recommend that. And now let's toss it over to Molly and learn more about scheduling your classes and about your professors and everything. Thank you, Caitlin, for giving us those great tips about Schedule Builder. Now I have two tips for y'all and the first one kind of bounces off Caitlin's and it is think long term when you're thinking times for schedules because you might think oh I'll wake up at 8 a.m. like that's no big deal but end of semester mid semester you might be like I never want an 8 a.m. class again like I hate waking up this time. Tip number two now this one's gonna sound a little interesting but google your professors yes I said to google your professors when you pick your classes and your times, I highly recommend Googling your professors. When you Google your professors, there is one website that I love to use, and it is called Rate My Professors. Basically, on this website, students leave reviews of classes they've taken with a certain professor, and you can find out things like the attendance is mandatory, or the test or lecture heavy, or that there's a bunch of discussion boards and pop quizzes in the class and I highly recommend using it especially if your professor is on there and they have reviews because it gives you such a general feel and you kind of know what to expect. Another thing with googling your professors you can find things such as their tech websites or the departments they work for at tech and you just kind of learn a little extra information. So to review, number one, think long distance when you're thinking about times and days for your classes and then number two, Google your professors, you kind of find a little bit of background information, and you can see how other students felt about the class. Hey y'all, so I hope this gave you some helpful tips, especially when it comes to choosing your courses, when to take your classes, and what professor to choose, because it is kind of stressful and kind of difficult, especially if you're a first year student trying to make a college schedule. Um, if you have any other tips that you would like to share with other students or share with us, should definitely leave it down in the comments let us know and if you are new to TNE you should definitely subscribe hit that red button you know get some more videos from TNE's vlog squad because our videos are awesome anyways I hope y'all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see y'all in our next vlog bye guys